slow down clutch. You guys remember what the exact one was? Slow down clutch. Oh, it's been so long. Slow down clutch. This isn't Asbury Park, and we're not on Thunder Road. It's, it's a pop culture reference to Springsteen's 1975 album. Um, you know, Born to Run, which the first song is a track called Thunder Road. Now, these are little allusions that I wanted to bring to your life that, that Larry was deliberate about. Um, well, this is odd. <laughs> <laughs> on Ace's original file card, version one of Ace from 1983, um, Top Gun, the reference to the Top Gun Mil Naval Academy, was made over and over throughout that entire file card. So if you look at this entry, Ace was the original fighter jack for the Jet Joe team, and on his prototype file card, we learned he was a senior instructor at United States Air Force Fighter Pilot Combat Training School, codenamed Top Gun. And what's it codenamed on the original file card? The aggressors. The aggressors. The aggressors. So, if do you guys remember when the movie Top Gun came out? Eighty-six. The movie came out in eighty-six, and Larry Hama was, was referencing Top Gun in Ace's file card in nineteen eighty-three having no idea this would be a movie. That happened to Larry Hama a lot. If you look at um, <coughs> who owns, I think someone in here owns the original Destro file card. Is that person here? OK, then I can talk about it. If you look at the original Destro file card from 1983, his prototype code name is Warmaster, regardless. Within the text of the original Destro uh, dossier, you'll notice that it makes mention of the American Express Platinum card in 1983. So for some reason, Larry Hama was so prescient in, and in touch with pop culture that he, he kind of predicted certain things that were going to happen. And you know, it, it said, I think the line of text was, Destras or Warmaster is one of the only people in the entire world to hold exclusive rights to the American Express Platinum card. Um, the next paragraph, Doc's medical degree. Doc has always, I've always had a problem with the Doc figure because I think Larry Hama intended him to be a corpsman, but Hasbro always pushed for him to be a captain, for him to be graded 03, and I think you know the military ranks are 10203, second lieutenant, first lieutenant, captain. Um, Doc is identified on the prototype dossier as a corpsman, but in the mass produced Hasbro dossier, it comes out that he is a medical doctor, which is why he had to graduate from Johns Hopkins. Furthermore, we do learn that, and it's hinted at, that Doc was a Quaker. Larry Hummer revealed to me that Doc was a Quaker, which is why he was officially a non-combatant on the G.I. Joe team. Um, which means that, you know, as a non-combatant, and if you were in Vietnam-era military service, that was your fallback uh, MLS, would be a, a corpsman or a medical doctor. Um, gun hose grenade launcher. On the original line of file card text, um, the XM-76 grenade launcher is not listed on his mode of expertise. This happens a lot, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I mean. If you look at the prototype dossiers, which I don't have with me because I was asked not to bring them, if you look at the prototype dossiers, and you look at the ultimate mass-produced uh, Combat Command mm -hmm. file cards, after Larry Hama edited the file cards and then sent them to Hasbro, you'll notice that Hasbro would throw stuff in there. The names of the weapons on the includes line and, and I don't 